hello guys and welcome back to another vlog i just finished up with my thursday um workout session and i am beat i don't know if you guys can tell there's like a car next to me which is why i don't want to show you guys my sweaty self but i'm just going to show you guys right now so are you ready you guys can't even tell too much but i'm very very sweaty and i made the mistake of not bringing an extra towel and every time i come work out i sweat so much that my hair kind of starts bleeding um, especially like down here and up here so i was like okay this time i'm gonna bring a towel and i'll bring over paula too and i completely forgot and today's probably the worst day to forget my towel because i'm actually gonna head to get my nails done so this is going to be a little nail vlog for you guys if you guys are interested in seeing kind of like my workout session and stuff like that, I did include that in my morning routine video, which should be up by the time this video is up as well. So yeah, I just wanted to come on really quick to give you guys an intro. I look so sweaty. I had such a good workout. Today was leg day. I am so beat, guys. I am so beat. And I, and I know that the next few days are going to be even worse, like soreness wise. I come here to a small gym called Lucky Athletes, which is in West Hollywood. And my nail tech, she is in Whittier. So it's approximately a 46 minute drive right now. It is only 7 a.m., so that's good. I may have some time to stop by to get some coffee. We'll see, we'll see, but yeah. I'm gonna head over there. So I'll see you guys once I get there to talk about what I'm going to get done on my nails. All right, so I am back a little less sweaty but I am back. Um, I just got here to the parking lot of the nail salon. I don't think Brenda's here yet, my nail tech. These are the nails that I had before, which these were a fill, so acrylics. And before this, I believe I took a break from getting my nails done. But before that, I used to just get gel X nails. So I think I'm going to go back to getting gel X nails today. That's what I'm thinking. So she's going to have to take these acrylics off. And to be honest, I thought I had like pictures and stuff saved, but I think I'm going to go a little basic this time. And I know I said that last time and then I ended up with these nails, but I really do think I'm probably going to do a solid color. Gasp, I know. Um, because I was thinking, should I do like French tips, I've seen really cute ones. I'll still pop up some pictures, but I don't think I'll get that done this time around. And I've seen just other cool things. I just don't know if I'm going to do like French tips or anything, I don't know. Also, I bought some nail like decals that I want to say, so yeah, like I was saying before my camera cut off, I bought some nail decals that are really cute. They're like airbrushed decals that I'm planning on using for my next set, which I want it to be more like brownish neutral for October. So I don't want to do anything like that just yet, but it is going to be fall starting next week. So I'm thinking I do want to stop using maybe like So I do think I want to stop using like bright summer colors now and move on to fall because I was looking at how many times I would be getting my nails done and I'm thinking I'm going to be getting them at least three times in the fall. So I need to start up with my fall nails. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to go a little bit basic, maybe with one color and like maybe even some, some stones on one nail. But who knows, because I feel like I always come on here and tell you guys that I'm going to do really basic nails and then I end up coming with the most extravagant nails ever. But yeah, I'm going to wait for Brenda to get here and I'll show you guys a little bit of the process.
right guys so really quick because it's kind of hot in here um, I just got done with my nails I did go with something a little bit more simple I went with this like really pretty wine burgundy color and I did do solid for like three of the nails and then these two I did French tip I think it looks very cute classy and I love them I also went with the medium size this time just because I already had them kind of long but yeah I'm really excited they're really cute I love them and now I'm actually going to head to the gas station because I have to pump gas and then I'm gonna go home because I have a lot of work to do so yes I'll see you guys at home <laughs> Today is Saturday. I just helped um, Karen move in. We're at her newest studio. Go. Okay. Oh, record her. <laughs> <laughs> <Yum>. <laughs> Take a bite. Okay. <laughs> Should just blow your face. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, guys. <laughs> Haven't talked to you guys in like a day, I think. Oh my god, I'm so sore, guys. I'm gonna lay down. This is very informal. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm sure you guys don't. Just to catch you guys up on what I've done today, it is actually, I think, like three right now. And I am so beat. I had my Quechua class. If you guys don't know, I just started taking Quechua classes. Those are on Saturdays at 7 a.m. So from 7 to 9 a.m. And I was doing homework last night. And I stayed up until late at night. Like, well, not that late. It was like midnight, like 12.30. And I couldn't go to sleep. So I think I ended up going to bed at like 1 probably. But yeah, I woke up like at 6 20 6 15 something like that and i went there you know i really like my quechua class like it's obviously difficult because it's a new language it's like learning a whole new language but i like it so i'm definitely trying to you know do my work everything prior to the class so then that way i'm not lost or anything so yeah, I really liked my class today. Then I worked on some orders. I went to the post office. And now I'm kind of debating if I want to get ready and maybe film some videos. Because I've been saying that I was going to film like a haul. Because I went to the thrift store like last month. And I never filmed the little try on haul. So I'm debating whether I want to do that. And start taking pictures of the things that I want to start selling. I thought I was going to make like a whole video about that. But if I end up doing that today... I can as well as I have some things that I can show for a little apartment haul because I've also been meaning to film that then I have to film like sit down videos too but since like there's lighting I'm thinking maybe I can get ready and film those videos or I can get started with cleaning because I definitely have to clean my apartment clean my bathroom and I kind of want to start cleaning and taking everything out of the boxes in the living room or like my office space maybe i'll make that a separate video but i really want to get to doing that and i know a few of you guys told me like to like, just show my mess it's okay because like it's relatable like everybody has a mess right like i'm not perfect so yeah i'm debating whether which one to do right now i also have to finish designing all of november stickers which needs to go up tomorrow so like i can't do everything as you guys can see so i have to like kind of choose what i'm going to do i was planning on going to my sister's house today but i was just behind on stuff and like new releases and stuff and i was just like no i'll just stay and like get some work done and maybe go next week oh no next week i have something very special i don't know if i should talk about it but i might talk about it in my plan with me um for next week but yeah there's something going on really special next week and I'm really excited. I'll most definitely vlog that experience. So yeah, I'm thinking, right now I'm leaning towards like getting ready because I haven't gotten ready in a while. 
and I don't know, I just feel, um, I guess I just feel extra alone today. And I know I haven't really talked about like how I cope with like loneliness and stuff like that. Um, because as you guys know, like I've been living on my own for like a month and a half now. And it's definitely not been easy whatsoever. Every day I feel like is different. And today I just feel a little extra lonely. Which is okay, like, if I would have came on here, like, in the beginning, like, when I first moved in here, you guys would have probably seen me crying. Because I'm not even gonna lie, like, I was very, very, very sad. And, um, even prior to moving, I was kind of scared to be alone. Because I just didn't, I guess, love myself in that way, which sounds so bad. But, you know, as the weeks have gone by, I have learned to love being by myself and, like, with my own company and i think that it just takes time as i mentioned yesterday i helped my friend karen move into her new like studio apartment and you know i went ahead and told her how it was going to be in the beginning because me and her have been basically going through the same thing and so um i moved out first and it was her turn to move out now and yeah she's on her own so you know i'm kind of i was trying to i was kind of giving her a pep talk like it's okay to feel alone in the beginning like it's normal but just know that you'll get through it and you'll feel even better that you're in your own space by yourself so yeah that's kind of how i feel <sighs> but yeah some days are better than others for sure but just wanted to come on here because i know i haven't really talked about that much but yeah i was very very sad in the beginning but now I'm kind of getting used to it and I really like having my own company or being with my own company, if that makes sense. So, okay, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. Probably going to shower and like get ready, do my hair because it's really puffy. Haven't done much to it since I dyed it, I think. So, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys. So I am not too sure when I'll be showing you guys this, but I just went to Target. So I'm going to do a little Target haul. I did get some groceries as well as other items that I needed. So yes, let me show you guys what I got from Target. First off, let's start this way. Let's start from this side. I saw these new kind minis. I've been wanting to get like some sort of bars, but I didn't want to get the regular size ones because they have a lot of sugar. And so I came across these. I believe these are new, but they're, I got the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. They have three grams of sugar, um, which I don't think is too bad. And they're really small. So I went ahead and opened this already so I can show you guys how small these are. I think these are going to be great whenever I have cravings for something sweet, but I don't want to overdo it by eating a lot of something. So these I think are perfect. I'm really excited about those. Then I got my new favorite cinnamon dolce k-cups that i've been getting then i really needed some shower gel like body wash and i really couldn't make up my mind on which one i wanted so i just went ahead and went with this olay one this is the cleansing and nourishing one that has hyaluronic acid so i just went ahead and got it and it was pink so i thought it went with my bathroom as well then my sister actually introduced me to these i didn't know they um had these now but these are the like spicy veggie straws if you guys know me you guys know i love veggie straws so the fact that they're spicy just makes me happy because i love like spicy chips and i don't want to go for like let's say hot cheetos and stuff like that so i got some of those then i got some of these balance breaks cheese and peanut raisin pack i got these the last time and i really love them so this is one of the things that were on my list to buy when i went to target so picked a few more of those i got some green beans as well as broccoli i like to have these for really easy meals whenever i don't know what to make honestly every time i make every time i make dinner i try to either add broccoli or green beans I've been trying to definitely eat more fruits and veggies throughout the day. Then I got a box of my favorite protein packed thick and fluffy power waffles. These waffles are really good. Um, I actually just ran out of the box that I bought prior to this, but they have 10 grams of protein and I love them. So I got some of those. Then I really wanted to get some like iced coffee just in case I want to have it instead of my 
normal hot coffee. I wanted to try out this new creamer. I'm trying to change it up a little bit and I just got one from Trader Joe's. I'm almost out of it now at the time that I'm filming this but I don't know. I did. I wasn't 100% sold on it so I wanted to go ahead and try this one. It's a natural bliss all natural creamer. It's just the vanilla i believe got some more of the grilled chicken strips this is actually a bigger bag than the last time when i purchased these but that's okay i'll just pop them in the freezer and i like to have these on top of like spring mix and spinach i really love that and then last but not least i decided to get two of these cauliflower mac and cheese bowls from tattooed chef it's so funny because i actually have some stock from tattooed chef and i just thought it would be nice to support the brand. Um, I really like these because they have 18 grams of protein and three-fourths of a cup of vegetables. So I'm really excited to try this out. Nothing too crazy, but I just thought that this looked good. I think this is the one that looked the best out of all the ones that they had. And I've had, I believe, their acai bowls in the past from costco so i'm really excited to try these out and that is all that i got from target nothing too crazy okay so i'm not done getting ready but i'm gonna eat a quick little late lunch kind of not actually like dinner <laughs> um today i'm going to be eating this which i hauled i'm pretty sure I will include the haul of items from Target in this video. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, this is from the brand Tattooed Chef, which I've had in the past. It's the cauliflower mac and cheese bowl, and it has 18 grams of protein. Um, I actually had this last week as well, and it was pretty good. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave, I believe, and then in the oven for like three or four minutes. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I guess I'll show you guys. I also have some chicken that I made last night, so I'm also going to eat this, and that's gonna be my dinner. All right, so this is how it looks. This is my dinner, this is my chicken too. And um, I don't know, it looks okay, um, but I promise it tastes pretty good. I really liked it last time I had it. I'm not gonna show you guys myself because I'm not ready. Um, but that's kind of how it looks. And I'm really excited to eat because I'm very hungry and I'm going to have some of my Trader Joe's sparkling limeade. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to eat. <laughs> Hello, guys. I look like a mess, kind of. But um, today is Sunday. I'm actually waiting for Paula to come get me because we're going to be going to a beach boot camp. I'm really excited. It's I believe it's my trainer and two other trainers. So yeah, I'm gonna go to that, I believe that's at 9.30. And then we're gonna grab some brunch and then I'm gonna head back because I have work to do for November new releases. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll show you guys a little bit of it. Um, by now, I believe you guys should have seen my morning routine should have already been up, which is where I show you guys a little bit of the semi-personal training that I did. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll see you guys when she's here. This is Frankie at LA. This is Sousa LA. We just finished up our second annual uh, charity boot camp at Lucky yes. Athletes. What do you got to say? This is for Frankie's vlog? No, this is for her vlog. It's my vlog. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we do these every month just to give back um, something that, you know, keeps us grounded and uh, brings everybody that started with us back uh, together. Um, so thank you guys for coming out and until next month. So Jocelyn got uh, omelet with sausage and potato. Um, and then what is this? That's like a pastry. sticky bun. Mm, then okay. Paula got Papas, potatoes and huevos rancheros. I went really healthy with the egg white and spinach panini with the pumpkin chai latte. That looks really good. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Hey guys, so it's actually later on Sunday that I'm filming this, but I did end up going to my parents' house just to leave some like laundry as well as 
to pick up some cash envelopes for my mom. So we ended up going to Target and Superior, which is her local grocery store. And I just decided to go grocery shopping and buy a bunch of stuff for the week or for the next like week and a half, I would say. So let me show you guys what I got. I think I'll just start with this side. From Target, I got some toiletries. So I decided to get this pack of the toothpaste, the Optic White Advanced. This is a toothpaste that I use and it was actually cheaper than I've gotten it for. I think I've gotten it for $11.99 for the three of them, but it was $10.50. So I just decided to pick up the pack of three since I'm eventually going to use this up. So I got this pack. I got a mascara, which is actually going to be coming out of my beauty envelope. It's the Sky High Mascara. It's really good. Um, so I got this. Then I got some toddler wipes some flushable toddler wipes which i was actually supposed to split this with my mom so she might just have to pick up you know her part whenever she comes over then i went back to getting the greek gods honey greek yogurt i was actually looking for the plain greek yogurt but they didn't have it at target so that's the one that i ended up getting which i really like this one too so we'll see how it tastes with the smoothies and I've shown these before on my channel. They are the Balance Breaks um, little packs. So I decided to get three of them. And the main reason why I did that was because they had a little coupon here for a dollar off each one of them. So instead of it being $3.89, I believe I got these for $2.89 a piece. And I really like these for like a quick snack. So I just decided to get these two new ones. I've never tried this kind, especially not this one. So I'm really excited. Then I got myself a coffee creamer. I just decided to go with this one because, I don't know, I really just wanted a bigger bottle so that it will last me longer. Also, this is, I think, my first pumpkin spiced um, thing of the season. And it is the stock cold brew coffee in pumpkin. I'm really, really excited to try this out. I picked that up. And the last thing I believe I got from Target were the strawberries for some smoothies as well as to just eat them on their own. Then for like produce and stuff, this is all from Superior now. I got two avocados here, some bananas for smoothies. I got apples, two plums. I believe these nectarines were my mom's, but yeah. <laughs> They're here. Then we have cilantro, lemons, three cucumbers. I really want to make my tuna salad this week. I got one of these easy sweet kale salads. Some quick oats because I really want to start eating these. I got turkey bacon. I haven't had turkey bacon in a long time, but I just decided to pick this up. Um, I also found this meat at Superior. It says it's beef for fajitas. So I don't know, they're like strips of meat and my mom thought it would be nice to like cut them up or even make arroz chanta with this. So I picked this up, some chicken breasts. And last but not least, I picked up four of these tuna in water. I really like these for my avocado cucumber salad. So yeah, those are all of the groceries and toiletries that I picked up for this week. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of this video, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me show you guys my face really quick. Nothing too crazy, but um, yeah, like I mentioned, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, as always, please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up, as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.